Hey, hey, hey. Happy Thursday. So I totally was wanting some Top Ramen. And um, as many of my friends know, I've recently um, had to stick to gluten-free. I've always kind of tossed it around. Um, but it is kind of a new thing for me, a new way of life. So I'm trying to find some of my favorites and change them up and make them a little gluten-free, maybe um, add some nutrition to it. And so Top Ramen, I have not had it for years. Um, my kids have probably never had it unless they've eaten it at other people's houses. Not something I um, usually purchase. But I was at Costco and they have these new rice ramens and thought, oh my gosh, how fun would it be just to kind of figure it out. So I got online and did a little, uh, little comparison just so you know. So these are the cute little cakes that come from Costco. So when you go buy Top Ramen, you get the cute little cake and you get the bouillon right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump those in my water and get them going. Turn it down a little bit. So when you do that, I just wrote this all down so I'm just gonna read it really fast. Um, you're actually getting 660 uh, milligrams of sodium from the actual ramen. Um, and ours, with what I just put in this pot, with just that simple, is actually 620 sodium and 26 carbs versus um, I'm sorry, 24 carbs versus their 26. And the funny thing is that I've learned so much about serving sizes is top ramen's actually two servings. Who knew, right? You just dump the whole thing in there. Who eats half? Not I. Um, so when you start doubling it and you look at the patch packaging and you realize just how much crap is in everything and then the serving sizes aren't even what they say they are going to be. So I decided just to kind of doctor this up a little bit because I wanted the noodles. So these are just all rice noodles. Still not sure what to see, um, think about them. I saw Anita posted something recently about um, them being from China. So yeah, I'm not really sure um, if you have an opinion about that. Post it in the comments. Love to hear it. So anyways, I've got my noodles cooking. I'm going to grab a fork. Forgot those. I'm just going to separate them a little bit. So I've decided I wanted to up the protein and nutrients on these. So I've got the Thrive green beans, or I'm sorry, green peas and corn. And I'm just going to dump those in there. I've got the brand new Thrive grilled chicken breast. I mean, this is so good. You can eat it dry. So I've got about a half a cup. I've got some onions and carrots. We are just going to make a really good soup. I do have some extra bouillon just in case I need some more flavoring because that's all that you need to flavor it. I'm going to break up my noodles, turn it down. Literally, it's going to sit here for minutes and it's going to be done. It's going to be tasty. I'm going to go get Austin from school and shut this off, put a lid on it, come back, and we're going to have a delicious snack. So with just the doctoring that I did, just I thought this was so amazing and I just wanted to share it. So the Thrive Chicken um, has 15 grams of protein, so I've just upped my protein massively and it has one carb so super good green peas this surprised me who knew um you get three grams of protein added to that just by me doing that and then your six net carbs so um i just took my ramen that i've been craving added a whole bunch of nutrients to it shut it off um, it's lower sodium gluten free no garbage no crap it literally is what it says it is um there's absolutely no preservatives in it so Anyways, I hope that, oh, mix in cheese, Sean. Hmm, I can't eat dairy right now. Otherwise, I probably would do that, but I will send some cheese your way because I'm putting together a goodie package for you guys. Um, but anyways, this is super fun. It's, um, it's something I enjoy doing, and I literally cook with Thrive every day, one way or another. People always ask me, I think y'all think I'm crazy. I season with it. I do everything. Something has Thrive in it at some point in my day. So I'm gonna just start sharing it more and more with you guys, um, just so you can see how easy it is. And remember, I do tastings. I come to you, I cook you dinner. And you just get to sit back, enjoy it, and see what's new, see what's tasty. It's super fun. And then you can um, get a whole bunch of free food. So, awesome. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Now I have to figure out how to stop it. Oh, it didn't 